So we're here in uh, Bristol, Virginia, Bristol, Tennessee, and uh, out here scouting out locations. I'm gonna turn around and you can see the sign that says Bristol, Virginia, Bristol, Tennessee, a good place to live. We've gotten to pray with a bunch of people and already got some insights on how to join the live healing services up here in the upcoming months. And with this great family, the Rochers, that have been friends with for years. I knew these guys when they were like two foot two standing on a box, and now they're Amazonian, 12 foot tall. And uh, here's our sign. Bristol, Virginia, Bristol, Tennessee, a good place to live and a great place to preach and teach salvation and healing. So we've already gotten to meet quite a few people up in Bristol already, plus phone numbers we'd collected before we left up there. Now you're gonna get a chance to see the trip up to Bristol. Uh, the first few videos were obviously of the city, Bristol, Virginia, straddling Bristol, Tennessee. This is a little town called Jonesboro. It's the oldest town in Tennessee um, after European colonization. And this is some friends of my friend, uh, Steve Roche's family there, adopting a couple of their dogs and beautiful backyard there in uh, Jonesboro. and just a great, great time and a lot of sights to see. And it kind of reminded me of the islands in Cherokee uh, as I was looking at it. And then we um, went on up from there up to Bristol. And this is a church on the way up there. And then we were also, of course, wa walking these dogs downtown. Came across the greatest little restaurant. Um, just amazing uh, sounds, music in there. Bristol is claiming themselves as the new birthplace of country music, and so they're really playing that up. Again, here's the little downtown Jonesboro. Uh, but the, from this uh, dessert shop that's called Blackbird Bakery, sitting catty corner is a park, and we were told that's where a lot of uh, ministry takes place between churches in the summer. And so uh, w there's some, just some, some real opportunities there to do some things there with other ministries. Uh, even before then, I believe they pass out uh, food boxes on Saturdays. So we can jump in with that and get some flyers out and go ahead and get started scouting and uh, try to get a, an event in before the spring, maybe right here at the end of things, uh, late uh, February, late March, right in there going into April and give ourselves a chance to get in there and get some things done. But just a really productive trip this past Thursday up there. Gonna go again this Thursday and do a little bit more legwork. I uh, got to pray with a family, do a house church uh, type service. Two individuals received healing from cancer after we taught on running cancer off and uh, 30 scriptures guaranteed to strengthen your bones and just a beautiful area up there. It's been a long time since I've been up and I'd really forgotten about a lot of the neat things that they have up there. So you guys are gonna go up there with us and be a part of this. You're just in for a great time, a lot of sights to see, a lot of fun, a lot of culture. And uh, we're looking forward to a great Speak to the Mountain Divine Healing Conference up there. Uh, half the street is Bristol, Tennessee. Half the street is Bristol, Virginia. Uh, really a neat little thing. You can be at two places at once as you stand in the middle of the road, <laughs> try not to get run over by vehicles.